Hi guys, welcome back. Well, an experiment today. I've got a tub full of uh, brush chips that I've been collecting up. And uh, I'm going to uh, see if I can melt these down. Uh, I hope you can, I put the furnace on so it's making a bit of a noise and I've got some uh, some large chunks of, uh, of the brass tops that I've been melting down that I got from Paul. I've got three or four of those chunks in the in the crucible. So um, I did mention this to Paul when I went up to pick uh, pick the tops up. And uh, in the past, I've tried melting down some of the aluminium chippings with no success. They've just turned into like a big sponge in the bottom of the crucible. Anyway, when I looked online, it's something to do with oxidisation. I'm not sure what the uh, exact process involved with, but uh, apparently uh, the, a lot of the aluminium scrap just went for landfill. When you, I would have thought it would have melted down. So, yeah, as I said, I have tried melting the aluminium chippings with no joy. And I mentioned this to Paul, and he said, well, why don't you um, put the uh, some large chunks of brass in, get that to be fully melted, and then slowly add some of the chippings. So that's the experiment I'm going to try today, guys. Um, it's probably half an hour before the brass melts down, before I can start adding some of these, but... Um, it's, it's a fair, fair bit of weight in that now, so... I've no, I've no shortage of brass, I've got, still got quite a lot of it left and some pieces that I've cast. But uh, no, it'll be just interesting to see if I can get these uh, to melt into the, uh, into the rest of the chunks. What's the mold I'm going to use for this? I've used this in the past. The idea is I need to extend the existing spindle for pieces that will get bolted onto this side. So I've ordered uh, two, two more pillar marks with a 25mm bearing in them. So uh, I think that's long enough to extend it. So it's greater than 25mm but uh, it should be okay. So once the, once the brass is melted, it's going to go into this. I've almost completed the tool holder now. I've got it all bolted down. I've put a thumb, thumb imprint, imprint in there for pushing the, the uh, engraver tool in and out. Uh, I think the only job to do now is I need some, uh, some grub screws put it into the top to all the, the guides, the depth stop and the engraver. I can get a, a five or a six mil onto those. But, uh, that's something I might do while I'm waiting for the brass to melt.
Okay guys, I've just used my 7 ton armor press to push the ingot out and uh, it's come out pretty easily uh, a lot easier than the uh, first attempt that uh, I had with using this but uh, I had turned the uh, welded seam down slightly you can still see the uh, the line there that the seam has uh, is made onto the uh, onto the brass, but it comes out pretty easily now. No lubricant, no heat in the uh, mould up. It comes straight out. So let's uh, let's have a look at it. Well, I don't know if I had any success adding those chippings there or not. Uh, once the uh, larger pieces are melted down, I added about four spoonfuls through. Not a great amount, but uh, it was really just to give it a try. And uh, I turned the heat up, left it for about another ten minutes, and um, the bottom half of the, uh, the crucible had melted. But it had quite a lot of scum on the top. Now I normally get some scum on, even with the solid pieces that I put in. Just the impurities and possibly some of the um, chrome that uh, that had been used on the tops. But uh, I seem to have had uh, more scum on this time. And uh, that's a similar thing that happened when I tried the aluminium chippings. So I don't know if the brass chippings had melted or not. Um, I have got some borax powder which I believe acts as a flux um, but as usual I put it somewhere safe and I couldn't find it I was going to add some borax into it see if that made any difference so really guys I don't I don't know if I've had any success with the chippings there or not and uh, is it worth messing around putting them in for the Obviously, because of the uh, the chippings, you get far less solid pieces out of them than you would do with a a solid piece of brass that was going in. So, yeah, I really don't know if I had any success or not. I think what I'll do, I'll, I'll dig that borax out, and uh, next time I'll just put the chippings in, and no solid pieces. And uh, I'll then know if the chippings are actually melting down into a liquid. So anyway, the piece that uh, piece that I cast has seemed to come out okay. That's long enough now for uh, an extension on that uh, spindle. I'm going to turn this down to the one inch to match the pillow bearings that I've ordered, uh, and then I'm going to put a a thread on one end. Um, I haven't done anything with the spindle yet. I've got to mount that up into my largest lab and put the steady rest on to get the hole in the centre but I can turn I can turn this down now and see what uh, what we've got on the inside there's one or two one or two craters left in it but I've had that with the previous ones and once you get below that surface it does uh, just clean up nicely so I put my three jaw on Mount that up and see what results we've got. I'm just going to turn this down so it'll fit into the, the largest of my Bernard collets and then I'll put the collet chuck back on and uh, swap it over so it's a, it's a very very accurate three jaw this but you can't be putting it into one of the collets so. I 
think once I've got this turned down it's uh, about time I clean my lathe up, it's getting in the right state. Near there, but not quite. Well I can afford to go down quite away with this because the, uh, the pillow box that I've ordered for the extension on the spindle are uh, 25 mil bearing in them so I'm well above this yet so I might as well continue taking this down It'll, it will fit into one of my collet chucks now but as I say it's got to be it's got to go down to 25 mil so I might as well take uh, as much as I, I can happen and I can always fit it into one of the other smaller collets Take some more off you. Okay guys, I'm going to put, swap this over for the collet chuck um, and then I'm going to turn this side down I'm still above the wattage diameter that I'm aiming for but uh, 
I'm going to put the college hook on first and, uh, and mount, mount the opposite end up, turn the opposite end down and then we'll start looking at uh, getting it down to the 25mm. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.